especially a tournament, sometimes you'll get guys, they'll do this, and what you do is you let it pass your head. I like this setup, it was kind of cool. Um, who's the big dude? Let me get a real big dude. Here, I get that, he's real big. Sorry, Derek. In our mind, we're a big dude in our head. No. Um, so what, what happens is sometimes I get the Kimura past his arm, I mean past his leg, but he's strong so he straightens his arm. And this used to be a counter that was real popular, still people do it, and then they turn their hand and yank it in. Like this is a, used to be a way like, if you get like a big, big dude on you, they would do that, and then they yank it in. And sometimes that works, but the problem with this one is, if somebody does this, you have a couple opportunities. One. Right here, about the time his hand gets close to your head, he's in a straight arm bar. So right here, what I do is if I, I turn and line my head up with this and his hand, his thumb will face me and normally I can hit it right there. But especially a tournament, sometimes you'll get guys, they'll do this and what you do is you let it pass your head and then you turn and catch his shoulder and then you arm bar on the other side, okay? So watch, slow. Once it clears my head, I catch it. And then I reach for his shoulder and I turn and I go here, squeeze the knees here, and hit the arm bar, okay? One more time, slow. See, I'm here, I grip. I'll go here and I grab the shoulder. I hold it. Now, the beginning, put on the hip, squeeze, pull the knee up and go. Leg goes over the head. But eventually, you're just going to hold and swing your butt out and hit the arm bar.